Welcome back to the channel. My name is Ellipsis. I've set myself a bit of a tricky challenge today. I'm going to open four more of these first partner packs. There's two packs in each. So we've got eight packs to open. And depending on the packs that are inside and the cards that we pull from those packs, that will determine what the next thing we open in this video will be. But come on in. I'll give you a bit of an explanation. We'll rip these packs open and see what packs are inside. Happy Thursday. So the reason why I'm doing this is yesterday and the day before I opened the first and second uh, of these first partner packs. The first one was the Kanto region and the second one was the Johto region. And from watching a lot of videos of these being opened, Kanto region packs usually had Sword and Shield base and Evolving Skies in. But all of the other sets had a varied mixture, uh, with none of the other ones having that same configuration of packs. But yesterday, when we opened our Johto pack, it had a Sword and Shield base and an Evolving Skies. So today, I'm going to rip open these four packs. Uh, we've got 12 oversized cards to put into a binder too, which is fun. But I want to see if there's any more Evolving Skies in these packs which technically I don't think there's meant to be, on average anyway. So, if there is Evolving Skies, and if we pull a Moonbrion from any of those Evolving Skies packs, if there are some, then I will open a Pokerev Mystery Pack, because the luck's really on our side, I think, at that point. If there isn't Evolving Skies at all, or if there are are Evolving Skies, but there's no Moonbrion in those packs, then I will open a Evolving Skies ETB. Okay, so we have Hoenn, Sinnoh, Unova, and Kalos. So I'm sure most of you recognize the Pokemon on the packs. Torchic, Trico, Mudkip. We have a Chimchar, Turtwig, and a Piplup. And we have a uh, Epic, Snivy, and Oshawott. And then to finish up, we have a Fennekin, Chespin, and a Froki. So, I'm going to do it in this order, I think. Just going to take out everything. We'll see what we have, and then we'll open as a big stack. So, first off, we have our Mudkip, Traco, and Torchic, oversized cards. Very nice. And the two packs inside this are a Sword and Shield base. And if you watched yesterday's video, it's still the same score line. It's so weird. But we have a second pack. Of sword and shield base snorlax artwork which i was looking for for a long time and in this pack we have a chilling rain as the second pack so that's varied it i will open the sword and shield pack as uh not in mint condition and if i do replace the one in my uh my uh pack collection i'll definitely get a mint version of it so that one's going to be open today we have a turtwig chimchar and piplup and this pack contains sun and moon base and a chilling rain okay so gonna have quite a nice little selection of packs there i think looks Highly likely that we'll be opening an ETB. Okay, this pack we get Snivy, Tepig, and Oshawott. I think Tepig may be one of my favourite artworks. That's one of the first artworks I, I came across when I first started collecting Pokemon again. 
And, okay, we have another Sun and Moon base. And a Battle Styles. Interesting. Gonna put Sun and Moon there. So we may need more space. Different sets. Okay. And then in this pack, we get the chest pin. I do like the reflective Pikachu 25th anniversary stamp. We get a Fennekin, that's very cool artwork too. And we get a Froakie. Okay. And the last two packs we'll be opening from these packs are we have another Battle Stars and another Sun and Moon. I think. No, three different artworks for Sun and Moon. That's very good. Okay, so let's pop these into a binder so they're out of the way. So now we have our eight packs. I am going to start with Battle Styles. Can we pull Sleepy Tyranitar? I don't know how long these packs have been inside the first partner packs. It could be first print run, first wave, in which case maybe there's better pull rates. Doesn't look like there's going to be in this one though. But we'll see. Water Energy, Bufalant, Bruxish, Tool Jammer, Achirisu, Spiro, Remoraid, Amantis, Mawile. We have a Reverse Single Strike Energy and a Non Hollow Primeape. Okay, second pack Battle Stars. Another bad code card. There's the code in case you missed it. Okay. We have a fire energy, tool jammer, more peco, level ball, Formantis, Mawile, Mankey, lot of the same faces, horsey, licky tongue, colossal in reverse. Okay. Code cards don't always mean what they say. Get a Mimikyu V. And anyone that knows me knows that I'm always happy to see a Mimikyu. That is a very nice pull. One hit on the board from what should have been a bad code card. Very nice. Okay. Next I will... Uh, I haven't actually opened any Sun and Moon. And I'm, I mean, I'm tempted to keep them sealed. I do have some sealed. Needed to take a minute to think about that, but whatever. We're going to open them. Never opened Sun and Moon before, as I said. Uh, be interesting to see what cards are in the set, see if we can pull anything that's good. I don't honestly know what's good. So let's go for it. Let's see what happens. We have Pre Marina artwork. This doesn't look like a good code card, but as with the, that one, we were wrong. I was wrong. Shouldn't, shouldn't blame you guys. It was me. But uh, yeah, maybe there's something hidden in one of these packs, even with a bad code card. We have a Water Energy, Team Skull Grunt, Pinsir, Ultra Ball, Growlithe, Grubbin, Zubat. Torkoal, a Rowlet, very nice reverse Charger Bug. I didn't know Charger Bug actually went back to Sun and Moon, but I love the way the reverse hollows work on these. Very nice. And a non hollow Crabominable. So, code card was 
correct on that one. We have a uh, Lunala. Okay, we get a good code card with that one. Let's see. Yeah, I don't know the rarity of these cards. I don't know how hard it is to pull some of them. Maybe Sun and Moon is a bit more of a challenge than uh, Sword and Shield was, and definitely uh, everything's a lot more of a challenge than the Scarlet and Violet era seems to be, although I like it. We have a Carvana, Toga de Mari, Chin Chow, Makuhita, we have a Caterpie, Reverse Steeny. Again, these reverses I love. You know, huge energy symbol, really nice wave of hollow going through them. And we get <laughs> the Alolan Dog Trio hollow. It's actually quite a nice card. I'm not going to lie. I quite like that. I'm going to sleeve it. Anyway. Enough fawning over a simple hollow. Let's try for something better in this last Sun and Moon pack. These actually might be the oldest pack I've opened so far. All of the other cards, the other packs that I've got from Sun and Moon, I've never opened any. Anything? It doesn't look like we have anything. We have a Grass Energy. Rare Candy, Brion, never seen that Pokemon before, Brion, Brion, Alolan Persian, Young Goose, Rowlet, Cosmog, Lillipup, Wingle, you get a Reverse Snubble, Snubble, That's very cool, big fairy energy on it, and we get an Arcanine Hollow, again, these hollows are really nicely polished and the artwork is really nicely illustrated. I think they're worth putting in the sleeve once you get to, you know, a couple of eras ago. It'd be interesting to see actually the value on hollows from these sets. Probably not huge, but interesting to see if, uh, if they, any of them hold it, any, hold it, held any value over the, uh, what, I don't know what year, 2017, six years old. I should have worked that out really, you know, every three years, new era. Okay, sword and shield base, lightning energy, Galvantula, Corv Esquire, Lumberry, Grookey, Yampa, Silicobra, Scorbunny, Cottony, Reverse Wooloo, and a non hollow Dreadnought. And we're left with two packs of Chilling Rain. So I'm going to start off with the Calyrex pack. Give the legendary bird some respect. Doesn't look like a good code card, so whiz through this one. We have our fighting energy, crushing gloves, honey, impact energy, patina, rock rough, shuppet, cast form, ghastly, agron in reverse, and a survivor non hollow. And then we'll finish up this last pack of Chilling Rain. And it's on a good code card. There is something at the back. I just saw the edge. Didn't mean to, but big enough that it decided it wanted to show me itself. We have a Fire Energy, Drizzile, Patrum, Fog Crystal, Snova, Cast form in rainy form, Ralts, Mareep, Clobopus. We get a reverse Ralts and 
A very, very nice border. Very nice. Is that a rainbow? Or is that? It could be an alternate art. What do we have? Full art Shadow Rider Calyrex V. That is insanely thin on the right side. Wow. I don't know if there's a, an alignment dot. Don't see one. And I almost can't believe that there's not one there. That is. Oh, I don't know if there's one right on the edge. Let me know if you see a dot in the comments, but wow. Beautiful card. Very nicely textured. Amazing colors. Really nice pull, but so off center. So off center. Anyway. Don't have it. It's going in my binder. It's going to be looked at for years and much loved. So there were no evolving skies, which means we open this guy up. Okay. So what can we pull from this evolving skies ETB? And just in case you were interested, if I had pulled the Moonbrion, which wasn't going to happen, um, I was going to open this Kyrim V box. This uh, Verizion V box and a Poker Red Mystery Pack. So that's not going to happen. We are going to tuck into the eight packs in this ETB and hope for the best because evolving skies has actually been really friendly to me the last uh, two or three openings Ooh, a ridiculous amount of luck i think a couple of rainbows some awesome cards honestly uh, but we'll see what we can find uh, we get some rather natty leaves you get Equally nutty code card. I'm sure there's something good in there. Dividers, always useful. And everything else can disappear except for those eight packs. Make sure there's all the packs there. There is. We are going to start ripping through each pack. I'm not going to go through separate what artworks there are or you know all that jazz we're just going to go straight in and hope for the best but not on this pack okay i don't know if anyone saw yesterday but they've i guess they made it official with the terrestrialized charizard for uh obsidian flames and that card oh my god that looks bomb i'm gonna have to Definitely go chasing terrestrialized Charizard. Have a Stormy Mountains, a Hitmonchan, Hoppip, Phoebus, Teddy Ursa, Dino, Golduck in reverse, and an Altaria non hollow. People keep saying there's so much talk about 151, don't sleep on uh, Obsidian Flames, and I get it. I am going to definitely try to. Uh, master set 151 but having seen the terrestrialized charizard i am going to divert a little bit of money towards opening uh obsidian flames i'm sure there's a lot of other good cards in the set too but that charizard just wow it pops we have a fire energy hypno fletchinder lantern hippopotus dwebble love disc Wobbuffet, Mareep, the baby in reverse, and a non hollow Smeargle. This could be the day that uh, Evolving Skies lets me down. 
just to warn you. I know I said a minute ago, had a, a good amount of luck with it. Luck can't last forever. So I am fully aware and I'm prepared for a letdown one day. Maybe that day is today. We have a fighting energy, Flaffy, Pyro, Ursa Ring, Lillipup, Seedot, Pikachu, Tentacle, Bletchling, Switching Cups in Reverse, and a Lilligant non hollow. Rayquaza artwork. Can we get a good code card? It's the first step. Good code card. Okay. Anything better than a regular hollow? Lightning. Boost shake. Shell gone. Shopping center. The baby. Drowsy. Rufflet. Psyduck. Sarua. Wishy washy in reverse. We do. Get the Lycan Rock V Max. I, I need that. I have the Lycan Rock, but I didn't have the V Max. That is a fab pull. And that card is awesome. Great perspective of Lycan Rock there. Really, really nice. Okay. Evolving Skies delivers yet again. Nothing too mad in terms of uh, where it sits within the set, its main set, but very happy with that card. Okay, and we have four packs left. I would like, at minimum, two more good code cards. Let's see what this ETB wants to give us. Not in that one. Okay. Let's go with Grass Energy, Lantern, Spirit Mask, Ribombi, Triagonal. Teliursa, Lotad, Lit Leo, Bagon, Reverse Boost Shake, and Gigalith. I think I've pulled quite a few of those Reverse Boost Shakes. Quite a few. So, we've got Umbreon Artwork. One of the two. Still hope that there's maybe one more, but I will take it. Hopefully, we have a nice card. This one feels a little bit wider than the rest. Not sure. Darkness. Tentacruel. Rubber Gloves. Bloet. Woobat. Sea Dot. Swablu. Psyduck. Rog and Roller. Reverse Psyduck. And anything in here. It's a V. Arctivish V. Dear old Arctivish, our best friend. I've only pulled a couple of him. Uh, I've seen people tear their hair out pulling Arctivish constantly. Uh, so I feel bad for those people. Luckily, he hasn't trolled me quite to that level yet, but there's still time. Okay. Another good code card. This could be our, I was going to say it could be our just regular hollow, but again, card feels a little bit wider. Water, shopping center, Hypno, Fletchinder, Wobbuffet, Rog and Roller, Rufflet, Dwebble, Nicket, Emolga in reverse. And this is the hollow. We get a floor just hollow. Don't honestly remember if I have that. I will check after the video. Be nice if we don't. Definitely nice to add <clears throat> as many cards as we can to the binder. And our last pack from this box won't give us anything, I don't think. Okay, Metal Energy, Dream Ball, Zinnia's Resolve, Hippodon, Sableye, Applin, 
Beauty Fly, Tim Pole, Eevee, Shopping Center in Reverse, and a Shift Tree Non Hollow. So, all in all, the ETB gives us a V and a VMAX. Very nice VMAX, nice, lovely texture on it. Uh, and uh, yeah, from the, the rest of the packs, we've got a nice little selection there. A couple of really nice hollows, which I definitely will keep sleeved. But to be fair, we need more. I am going to... Let's do one. Let's do the Kyrem. Qrem. Apparently it's pronounced Qrem, but uh, maybe to, to Western audiences it looks like Kyrem. So uh, not really sure about that, but Qrem sounds quite cool. Uh, I'm going to open this one. There is two Lost Origin and two Evolving Sky inside. So, you know. It's almost time for me to go away. We might as well open a bit of a bonus. I am back tomorrow with uh, Shining Fates. And thinking I may be back on Saturday just for a little cheeky opening. But we get a very cool QRM Blackstar promo. Oh, it's not even a Blackstar promo, actually. It's a card from the set. I don't know if that's any different from the normal V you get in the set, but it's from Lost Origin. I'm going to pop that there. You get a code. I'm actually taking up quite a lot of space on the desk now, so I'm going to have to be a bit careful. And same again. So same again. This is from Vivid Voltage, but that's a really nice Zekrom hollow, and it's got Cosmos pattern, so that is a definite different version or variant from the one that you would get in the set so that definitely gets a sleeve leave that out of the way put you there put kyurum in a sleeve too i have to look out for where that goes in the set okay we get an oversized card which there is still some room in my oversized binder, so that can go in there. Put that over there for now. And get our four packs. Two Lost Origin and two Evolving Skies. So Evolving Skies go to the end, don't they? Of course they do. Lost Origin. Let's see. You know, I normally expect one good pull from one of these boxes, at least. So, it doesn't really, you know, obviously, Evolving Skies, some of the best pulls you can get. But uh, Lost Origin really is up there in terms of pulls, especially the alternate arts. So, let's just hope for the best. Doesn't matter which one that one, com one pull comes from. Hopefully we get one. So, we have a Grass Energy, Gastrodon, Lampant. Gift Energy, Rhyhorn, Murkrow, Horsey, we have a Shellos, Mawile, we get a Reverse Hisuian Gudra, and, okay, 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 okay. Mm, it is part of the numbered set, so it's not hugely amazing. I think it's just going to be a VMAX. Oh, it's Drapion V, full art. Not a bad pull. That's a very nice card, actually. Wasn't a huge fan of Drapion ever, really, but uh, I know some people out there really are. I assume in the, the playability side of things, Drapion's very good. Very nice card. Really good condition. Okay, so. Lost Origin. Gives us a nice hit. Second pack of Lost Origin. A 
not a good code card, but Lost Origin has the opportunity for trainer galleries, so keep our fingers crossed, maybe. We have a Metal Energy, Ariyama, Haunter, Poliwhirl, Gligar, Wormpool, Rhyhorn, Murkrow, taking two, we have a Horsey, Shuppet in reverse, so no trainer gallery, and a Rhyperia non hollow. They are our Lost Origin. Let's go Sylveon. It would be really cool to see a second hit from this box if we could. We do have a good code card. I honestly just want to keep opening Evolving Skies. It has done me so well these last couple of weeks. Grass Energy. Scroll of the Fang Dragon. Swoobat, Lombre, Lillipup, Nicket, Bergmite, Blah Baby, Rog and Roller, Reverse Rog and Roller. I've seen that happen a few times actually. And get a nice border. Okay. We get a Dragonite V full art. I was trying to cagely bring it down so I could just see whether there was any image creep into the border. And uh, by the time we got down to where I could start seeing stuff, we knew who it was. But Dragonite is a very, very cool Pokemon for sure. And that is a really nice full art. Super happy with that. Evolving. When you look at the back of binders, my binders in particular, Evolving has got to be one of the quickest filling back ends of binders that I've ever tried to put together. There's so much luck with the sort of the rare cards not in the main set. Okay, as expected, one out of two, as best as we could probably expect. We have a Lightning Energy, Palpitoad, Shopping Center, Herdia. Timpole, Lit Leo, Eevee, Beauty Fly, Hitmonchan, Swobly, and a Thievil non hollow. Wow. Actually, uh, pretty, pretty good returns, I think. We've done pretty well today. I literally could just keep opening stuff and I need to stop. This is enough for today. Um, I will be opening the Shiny Fates tomorrow. I'm, still, I'm also going to open the two remaining uh, first partner packs. And uh, yeah, we'll see how long that, uh, that takes. We've got 24 packs of Shining Fates. So we'll see if there's time for anything small on top of that. But just what a nice range of cards, really. I'm going to move that down because the light is shining Calyrex's face. But honestly, yeah, very, very happy with the. Uh, with the range of pools today. First time opening Sun and Moon Base. Nice experience. Hope you've enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to leave it there. Please do uh, like and subscribe. Leave any comments you wish. Uh, if you want to be in with a running for the giveaway, I have to keep reminding people. Um, apologies for that. But uh, we're about three days away from going on holiday. So if we're going to hit the 250 subscriber limit for the giveaway for the four pack tin, um, we're going to need to hit it probably today or tomorrow. Otherwise, the giveaway is going to probably have to hold off. Or I can do the wheel spin while I'm away, but actually sending that to the winner is going to wait at least a couple of weeks. So please do subscribe if you if you aren't already, and uh, hopefully we'll be able to squeeze it out before we go away on holiday. But thank you for watching. It's always a pleasure. Pokemon is always a pleasure. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you tomorrow for Shining Fates Friday.